Hey there everybody, here today at the Landers Workshop. Wanted to go over a couple of our best selling items, our inshore silver hook remover and our offshore blue hook remover. We get a lot of questions about how exactly do these things work, so we thought we'd do a video here to give a pretty good example of how they work, show you some of their functions, show you some of the durability that we've built into these. There are some other copies and various versions of this type of hook remover. Ours is the highest quality one out there because of our materials and our engineering and design on it. I wanted to show here today some of the features. This is an anodized aluminum tube on both the large and the small hook remover. We have metal inserts in the plastic handles here, which the plastic makes them an easy thing to grip, but the metal insert gives them strength and rigidity. Anodized aluminum hitch point here. You've got an ergonomic grip here where you get your, your top finger here and your hand below and it, and it functions very similar to some that you've seen that may, you may see has a, a handle here and you grip it kind of like a baseball. Well, you can, I'll show you how you can use these this exact same way. Finally, inside of here, in this, uh, in the top part of the, the mechanism here, there's a spring. There's some uh, gnarled um, uh, metal here that you can slide this straight back and the spring is directly inside of here. You can oil it if, if you need to. It's all made out of stainless steel. The mechanism and the hook are stainless steel in here. So it's very durable. You can wade in salt water with it. They can be submerged. You don't have to worry about corrosion issues with, with uh, Landers tools in general. So under the function, we get a lot of questions, how does it work? It's got an interesting hook here on the end that a lot of people look at and they're, they're not exactly sure how it works. So we wanted to show you, the, the function of it is to simply open and close it. And you see the hook draws into the mechanism, into the tube, and you see there's a little bit of a notch cut right here. That notch pulls the hook into it and gives you a firm grip on it. It basically grips it from two directions. And that allows you to pull a hook out with a whole lot of force and function from your hand. Now, one way that the you can hold the tool is like this, kind of a pistol grip uh, version of how you would hold it and function it. But if you prefer the style that lands in your hand and you grip it, like I said, with the two fingers like a baseball, you can use that, you can do it that same way with this very tool. So it has the functionality to be worked both ways. And if you turn it upside down, you can hold it in your hand and grip it in that baseball style we were talking about. So there are two functions to the way that the tool works. First is you can hold it and grab it like this, like this, or flip the tool upside down, put it into your hand like this, and grab it with two fingers. If you prefer that kind of a grip, that's another way to do it. So, as you've seen others, as we get imitated, what you'll notice now is you can use our tool the two different ways. Now, how does it take it out? Well, you got the hook. We've taken one of our, the foams from one of our floats and we've stuck a hook in it. So this, this is representative of a fish's mouth. It's not an exact science, but the idea remains. You're holding something and it's got your hook down in it. So what you'll do is you'll take the hook remover. A lot of times you can follow the line straight down to the hook. But in this example, we'll just show. You can get onto the line, follow the line down to the hook. And as you close the tool down in on the hook, it kind of turns the hook. From there, you simply turn and lift the hook out of the fish's mouth. And once it's out, you simply open it up, let go, and the hook falls out. Just like that. The function is the exact same with our blue hook remover. It's simply an elongated version of the silver hook remover. Quality is the same, materials are the same, simply a longer version of the same tool. When somebody is asking us, which one should I buy? We often say, well, how close to the teeth do you want to be? Do you want your hand to be this close to teeth? or this close to teeth. So the choice is yours. If you're inshore and wading or in a kayak or freshwater, the silver one is often plenty. If you're offshore, going after larger species or toothier critters, the blue one is for you. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and visit landersfishing.com for more information.